Hey everybody, thanks for checking out this video. Today I want to talk to you about the serial number format of Cisco devices. Uh, to my knowledge, every Cisco device that I have seen has had a similar formatted serial number. Uh, and I'm going to show you on screen right now the WebEx share that I have, uh, its serial number. Uh, this is kind of instructive because it also has the manufacturer date printed right next to it. The serial number is comprised of a couple different pieces. The first three characters is a location code for where the device was manufactured. So uh, in this case you can see FCH. Uh, I believe this was somewhere in China. Um, that's where this device came from. Uh, I'm going to put the full list, at least as I've found it other places on the internet, in the comments section below, so check that out. Uh, the next piece, the what would that be, the fourth and the fifth digit uh, go together. This is actually the year code. Uh, and the year code you can think of as, uh, you know, take the year code, subtract four, and that's going to give you the year. So uh, 22 minus four is going to take us to 2018. This is actually an offset from 1996, uh, and each year it increments by one based on that. The next piece is the 18. This is actually the week of the year. So each week, 52 weeks, uh, the week that the device was manufactured. You can actually see in the manufacture date, the thing was made in May. So uh, some quick math, that sounds about right. Last but not least, there is the unique identifier. Uh, and that's the last four digits, or four characters. Uh, this, ex this is numeric and alpha or alphanumeric, I guess you would say, with the exclusion of the letter uh, I and the letter O, probably because is it a 1 or is it an I, is it a 0, is it an O, that type of thing. So um, I think I did the math at one point, it's still going to be over a million character or a million different combinations. Um, so there you don't have to worry about any collisions there, or Cisco doesn't have to worry about it. Uh, but that's it. So probably the most useful way to use this information is if you make some type of script that automatically collects your serial numbers. You can actually get the manufacture date. Most likely the, the situation where this would be helpful is if you're, you know, maybe for a refresh, you know, circumstances, how long has this gear physically existed? Uh, the other one would be if there is a field notice of some variety that is based on the manufacture date. Stuff made on this week uh, or this couple of weeks or whatever uh, has, you know, we're going to send you a new power supply just to get ahead of any issues. There might be a field notice type of thing like that. So, uh, anyway, valuable information, kind of a good, you know, at the bar Cisco live type of fact. Not super helpful in most cases, but now you know. Now you have the uh, that tool in your tool bag, and um, hopefully someone finds this helpful. So anyhow, like our videos, subscribe, join the conversation below. If you have more information on this than I do, please tell me. Uh, but uh, yeah, thanks for checking us out, and we hope to see you here again soon.